attention, please. I am Drew Johnson, the president of the Tennessee Center for Policy Research. I'd like to thank all of you guys for coming out today. Enjoy the barbecue. We have copies of the pork report right back there. We're up pointing the bullhorn. And inside the, the pork Inside the pork report, you'll find half a million dollars of waste, fraud, and abuse of your tax money. A hundred different examples, from $2.3 million for golf courses, to $40,000 for umbrellas and uh, flashlights by the Department of Revenue. Now, inside the pork report, there's also an envelope. Feel free to pull that out, put some money in it for us, because we are a nonprofit and we exist based on your support, which we appreciate. At this time, I'd like to welcome David Williams, who is the Vice President for Policy, of Policy, at Citizens Against Government Waste, which uh, co-sponsors the pork report with us. Citizens Against Government Waste is the nation's premier taxpayer watchdog on the federal level. Thanks, Drew. As you mentioned, I'm with Citizens Against Government Waste. We've been around since 1984. We're the group that uncovered the uh, 600 hour toilet seat, 400 hour hammer. So it just made sense to come to the state of Tennessee and uh, uh, team up with Drew to come up with all the wasteful spending here. And there's a lot, half a billion dollars in wasteful spending. And one of my favorites has to be the Bull Weevil Eradication Program. Now apparently it was easier to get rid of the Bull Weevil than it was the spending to get rid of the Bull Weevil. We have a part to nowhere. There's just a, really a ton of stuff in this pork report, and Drew's done a fantastic job. And um, can you smell that, that smell of pork in the air? Is it coming from my left or my right? I'm not quite sure where that smell's coming from. But as they're in session, they're spending your money, they're spending everyone's money on wasteful projects. And uh, one of the biggest offenders is the governor, the governor himself. A party bunker, a $9 million party bunker, and taxpayers aren't getting a party in that bunker. And probably the biggest frustration right now is that politicians and bureaucrats have asked us, hardworking Americans, to sacrifice, to, you know, batten down the hatches. Yet, look at the pork report. They're not sacrificing. Politicians and bureaucrats are not sacrificing. They're spending more and more of, uh, of our hard-earned money. So I just want to thank uh, Drew again for this and enjoy the, the pork. Actually, only enjoy one part of the pork to my right. Don't enjoy the pork on my left. Thanks. <laughs> thank you, David. I would like to say that uh, there's been a lot of talk about the 1,500 jobs that uh, the governor's proposing to cut. If the governor hadn't built that party bunker, every single actual job that he's proposing to cut would be saved right now. Nobody would have had to have been fired. It's all because of the party bunker that about 700 people are going to be fired. At this point, I'd like to welcome the host of Nashville's Morning News with Ralph Bristol on 99.7 WTN. Uh, he's kind enough to let me come on every Friday at 8.05, so listen to me tomorrow morning if, I, uh, if I'm up and uh, remember to call in. And uh, at this point, I'd like to welcome Ralph. Thank you, Drew. Thank you all for coming here. And uh, how about a great big hand for the Tennessee Center for Policy Research for providing this delicious meal. And to the folks over there who actually, actually cooked it for us, thank you very much. We appreciate it. That's the kind of pork we like. We don't like that other stuff. There are two uh, main problems with the kind of wasteful spending that we're talking about. And, and Drew has found 580 or so million dollars in wasteful spending. There may actually be even more than that. 500 million dollars, when you hear people talking about trillions of dollars on the national level, you might not think that 500 million dollars means very much. But if you're one of those 700 state employees or is about to get your layoff notice, it means quite a bit to them because it wouldn't have taken but a fraction of that just to keep their jobs. I'm not necessarily for growing state employment, but I would guess that the, the, the folks who are working there are, are uh, uh, more productive now than they will be once they get that notice. So, um, and, and that 700 jobs is, is just a very small number of jobs that could have been financed or, or other productive spending that could have been financed with $500 million. Now they, they said in the paper that, uh, it's, that the 700 layoffs, they're going to save $30 million. 
and we've wasted $580 million with pork barrel spending. So there's a practical problem when it comes to wasteful spending, and that is it takes money away from other, better, more productive spending, and we ought to complain about it, and we ought to complain about it loudly every day and not just once a year. There's a, there's a principle problem, too. It's a matter of principle. When, when, when lawmakers know that they can get elected and start spending money on their favorite projects instead of having to pull their own money out of their own pocket and contribute to their favorite projects, it means they're getting elected for the wrong reason. They're not getting elected to try to do things for the people of Tennessee. They're trying to get elected to try to do things for their friends and, and, and gain friends and influence people through your money, through taxpayers' money. And that's a corruption problem. So wasteful spending represents a lot more corruption than it does than the actual dollars would indicate. And the last thing we need is a lot more corrupt politicians. And that's what, exactly what this indicates, and we've got a lot of corrupt politicians, and we need to get rid of them. So thank you all for coming. Enjoy the delicious pork, the good kind. Please support the Tennessee Center for, the Pol for Policy Research and other organizations like Tennessee Tax Revolt and the Tennessee Tea Party organizations that are working on your behalf all the time to try to keep track of this, to let you know about it, to try to control it. When you have an opportunity, join the organizations. If you can't join them, donate a few bucks every once in a while. At the very least, follow what they're doing and call your legislators and tell them enough is enough. Thank you. Ralph here and the great job he does every morning. Uh, waking up at 2 in the morning to, uh, to bring you guys news and insight on 99.7. Is Ben Cunningham here? Where did Ben go? Uh, I want to highlight a few people that uh, have uh, joined us today. First of all, I know I saw uh, Senator Mike Falk, Senator uh, Tim Burchett. Uh, they were both here, as well as uh, I see Attorney uh, General uh, Bill Gibbons, who's running for governor, and also uh, Justin Wilson, our state comptroller. I should point out that uh, what uh, Comptroller Wilson does is extremely important for our pork report. A lot of the stuff that we find, this waste of spending that we find, is brought up through state audits that is found through the comptroller's office. So he's doing a great job, and hopefully together we can expose some of this stuff and get rid of it. Uh, enjoy your pork. We'll come up and talk more later.